if the chemical reaction involves the release of energy we call it as exothermic reaction and if the chemical reaction involves the absorption of energy then we call endothermic reaction this electrical energy will light up the will turn on the torch which is given to surrounding as a light energy sound energy is the energy produced because of sound the energy which is produced due to vibrations because of which you are able to hear what i am talking in this session hello everyone i am nishpal nanjamma faculty of physics in vidyashram pre university college the temple of excellence mysore welcome back to my session 5 on chapter 6 work energy and power in this fifth session we shall discuss the various forms of energy that we see all around us so to begin with we know that energy what do you mean by energy energy is the capacity to do work energy is the capacity to do or perform a work so energy we studied about the mechanical energy in the previous session so what is mechanical energy mechanical energy is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy it is the sum of potential energy plus kinetic energy so the one which is associated with motion is called kinetic energy the one which is associated with position or configuration is called potential energy the one which is associated with motion is called kinetic energy and the one which is associated with position or configuration is called potential energy so the sum of potential and kinetic energy is called mechanical energy so the previous session we discussed about mechanical energy and in today's session we have various forms of energy around us that we see and come across in our day to day life the list is very vast and i have listed few of the forms of energy that we come across in our day to day life that is heat energy chemical energy electrical energy light energy sound energy and nuclear energy so i have listed few of the forms of energy that is heat energy chemical energy electrical energy light energy sound energy and nuclear energy so we'll discuss each energy one by one to start with heat energy so what do you mean by heat energy you are aware about what you mean by heat energy so heat energy is associated with frictional force heat energy is associated with frictional force work done by a friction is not lost it is converted into heat energy it is converted into heat energy it is a form of energy it is a form of energy produced whenever work is done against an opposition such as a friction so work done heat energy is associated with a frictional force due to the surface or electrical resistance in a conductor heat can be easily transferred from one body to another and it produces a rise in temperature of the body suppose it's winter you start rubbing your hands and you're feeling very cold when you start rubbing your hands so the surface are in contact so when the surface are in contact there is a friction force acting in opposite direction there is a friction force so this friction force is not lost this frictional force is converted into heat energy when you rub your hand against the surface of each other you feel warm you feel warm so there is a rise in the temperature there is a rise in temperature of the body so similarly we discussed about friction similarly we have a surface and a car is moving suppose a car is moving a car is moving on the surface of the road so the tire is in contact with the surface of the road and we are moving with certain velocity you want to stop the car you apply sudden brakes brakes work on the principle of friction when you apply sudden brake what happens there is a heat produced due to friction so heat energy is associated with frictional force the work done is not lost it is converted into heat 
energy and it can be transferred from one body to another. When you apply brakes, what happens? Since the surface are in contact, when you apply force in this direction, there is a friction force acting in opposite direction. There is an opposition. When you apply brakes, there is a sudden stop. So what happens? The frictional force is converted into heat energy. There will be heat generated in the surface. And also, sometimes you can see heat energy as well as you can hear the sound. So, sound energy is also obtained. So, this is about heat energy. You can see, for example, consider fuels. Fuels like petrol, diesel, coal, when they are burnt, a large amount of heat energy is generated. Similarly, the next type of energy you come across is chemical energy. It is a chemical energy. The energy stored in the bonds of the chemical compound. The energy stored in the chemical bonds of the compound. It is the energy stored between atoms and molecules of the chemical compounds. Energy that is stored between the atoms and molecules of the chemical compound. Suppose plants use solar energy, carbon dioxide and water to synthesize the food. When humans and animals consume this food, so this food which is consumed by humans and animals are broke down in their bodies. This helps them to get energy for daily activities. So food is like a fuel for our body. It is like a fuel for our body. We need energy to perform daily works. So food gives us the energy to perform our daily activities. A chemical reaction takes place in a compound. When a chemical reaction takes place, it's just the rearrangement of atoms and molecules in the chemical compound which release or absorbs energy. If the chemical reaction involves the release of energy, we call it as exothermic reaction. And if the chemical reaction involves the absorption of energy, then we call endothermic reaction. So what is chemical energy? It's the energy stored in the bonds of a chemical compound. It's a energy stored between atoms and molecules of the compound. When chemical reactions take place, there will be rearrangement of atoms and molecules. So, there will be release of energy. So, we call it is an exothermic reaction. That release of energy is a chemical energy. So, it is a form of energy stored in chemical bonds, stored in chemical bond during exothermic reactions. This energy is liberated as heat. This energy is liberated as heat. So, a burning substance release this energy, heat and light. When you light the matchstick, when you rub it against the surface, uh, there will be light in the um, light produced as well as the heat energy produced in the matchstick. So, that is the example for chemical reaction. The chemical surface is reacting in order to give light and as well as heat energy. So, the energy is liberated in the form of heat. So, also it gets some amount of light energy. It is about heat and chemical energy. So, in heat energy, frictional force is not lost. Frictional force gives rise to heat energy. And in chemical energy, it is the energy present in the bond of the chemical compound. So, when there is a chemical reaction, there will be rearrangements of atoms or molecules in the compound. There will be release of energy that is called exothermic reaction. This energy is a chemical energy. So, when you light the matchstick against the surface, the chemical surface react and give out heat as well as light energy. Next type of energy is electrical energy. Electrical energy. We cannot imagine our life without electrical energy. Our fridge, fan, TV, everything runs with electricity. It's the electrical energy. Then what is electrical energy? It's the energy. To describe electrical energy, we consider charges. We consider charges. So, electrical energy is due to moving of electric charges, moving of electric charges. Suppose when you turn on torch, the chemical energy is stored in batteries. The chemical energy which is stored in batteries will move the electric charges from low potential terminal to high potential terminal. When charged particles are moved from low terminal to low potential terminal to high potential terminal, this electrical energy will light up the torch which 
is transferred to surrounding as a light energy which is transferred to the surrounding as a light energy. So what is electrical energy? It is due to the moving electrical charges. If you take a torch, a torch has a battery. So the chemical energy is stored in the battery which moves the charged particles from low potential to high potential terminal. So this electrical energy will light up the, will turn on the torch which is given to surrounding as a light energy. So electrical energy is the energy released by a cell or a battery or a dynamo. It is used for the flow of electric charges. It is used for the flow of electric charges through a conductor and electric energy is used in the working of electric heaters, coolers, electric fan, bulb etc. All run due to electrical energy. We get electricity from the power station, from the power station to our home through large cables. So at the end of the month we get electric bill. So what is this electric bill? What are we paying for in the electric bill? It is the we are paying for the electrical energy that we have consumed in that particular month. In the end of the month we are paying electric bills. So if you want to save on your electrical bills then don't forget to turn on lights or or fans when you are not using it, when you are not using it. So you can save on your bill at the month end. So that is the electrical energy, the energy we have consumed, electrical energy that we have consumed in the end of the month, we are paying electric bill for that. So electrical energy is the energy released by the cells or batteries or the dynamo. So next type of energy we have is a light energy. We cannot imagine our life without light around us. If there is no light, the world looks very dark. Imagine if there is no light, the everything around us looks dark. So electrical energy is a form of electromagnetic radiation. Light consists of photons which produced, which is produced when an object's atom heat up. When an object's atom, when an atom which is present in an object heats up, so it produces a light energy. So light travels in waves and it is the only form of energy visible to human eyes. It's the only form of energy visible to human eyes. Consider the example of electric bulb. So immediate when you turn on the switch with the electrical energy, electricity is passed through the wire. The electrical energy is converted into light energy and it gives light for the surrounding. So that is light energy. What is light energy? It is a form of electromagnetic radiation light energy is a form of electromagnetic radiation light consists of photon it consists of photon which are produced when objects atom are heated up light travels in a wave and is only form of energy that is visible to human eyes and the next we have sound energy next we have sound energy how you are able to hear this video it is through the sound energy I am talking. It is reaching your ear. How it is the Due to vibration which is traveling in the medium air and it travels in the medium air and then it hits your ear. So you are able to hear this session because of the sound energy. Sound energy is the energy produced when we talk. Similarly, uh, take the example of a music system or you have a music instrument. You start playing the musical instrument when the sound is a bit loud. When you hold your hand near the speaker, you can feel that vibrations. When you talk, when you hold your throat, you can feel that vibrations. So the vibrations before it reaches your ear, it travels in the medium called air. Sound energy is the energy produced because of sound. The energy which is produced due to vibrations because of which you are able to hear what I am talking in this session. Sound energy, a vibrating body emits energy, a vibrating body emits energy in the form of sound waves, in the form of, in the form of sound waves. We talk to others and we can hear the horn of vehicles using sound produced, using sound wave produced. When we talk, a sound is produced. So you can see the example, how it travels in the medium air and before it reaches our ear, before it reaches our ear. This is the sound energy. 
The next type of energy is nuclear energy. Before going to nuclear energy, we should first try to understand the equivalence of mass and energy because the nuclear energy came up after the study of the equivalence of mass and energy which was given by the famous scientist Einstein that E is equal to mc square. The relation is E is equal to mc square given by Einstein which which related the two unrelatable quantities energy and mass together in one equation. So he equated the two unrelatable quantities energy and mass in one equation and gave the equivalence of mass energy relation where the energy of the body is equal to mass product of mass and square of speed of light. So C is the speed of light given by 3 into 10 to the power 8, 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. The value of speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So M is the mass and C is the square of speed of light and E is the energy of the body. So this relation says that energy, the energy and mass are interconvertible. Energy can be converted into mass and mass can be converted into energy. So the mass energy equivalence given by Einstein principle states that mass of a system and its energy are the same property in any physical system. It states that the mass of the system and energy of that system, the mass of that system as well as the energy of that system has the same property in any physical system, has same property in any physical system. That means that anything that having mass has an equal amount of energy and vice versa. Anything which has energy has equal amount of mass in it. Mass is converted into energy as well as energy is converted into mass. This is the relation given by Einstein which related to unrelatable quantities mass and energy saying that energy is convertible into mass and mass can be converted into energy where C is the speed of light in vacuum which has the value 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. After the mass energy equivalence we started to learn about an energy called nuclear energy after the Einstein's E is equal to mc square relation. So what is nuclear energy then? What is nuclear energy? Nuclear energy is also called as atomic energy. It is also called as atomic energy because it is the energy that is obtainable from the nucleus of an atom. So it's also called as nuclear energy or atomic energy. It is called as nuclear energy or atomic energy. The energy which is obtainable from the nucleus of an atom is called nuclear energy or also called as atomic energy. So Nuclear energy is an energy that is liberated during nuclear fission of uranium-235. It is the energy that is liberated during the process that is nuclear fission of uranium-225 and nuclear fusion of hydrogen isotope of nuclear fusion of hydrogen isotopes. So what is this nuclear fusion and nuclear fusion? which give out the nuclear energy. So what is this nuclear fusion and nuclear fusion which give out the nuclear energy? So this nuclear fission of uranium-235, you have uranium-235. So the nuclear fission of uranium-235 release the energy out. It is called a nuclear energy. Then what do you mean by nuclear fission here? Nuclear fission means a large object that is uranium-235 which has a very huge mass which has a very huge mass is split into two small bodies split into two small bodies which has a uranium-235 which really have a huge mass is split into two smaller parts is split into two smaller parts so huge mass is broken down into two smaller bodies which has respective masses. So a huge amount of energy is released here. Similarly, nuclear fusion of hydrogen isotopes, nuclear fusion, fusing of atoms. You have a small 
hydrogen isotopes which consists of which consist of certain mass is fused it is fused what happens here two hydrogen isotope are fusing into one helium this is a helium it is fusing into a helium heavier nucleus helium releasing a huge amount of energy so when it is two isotopes are fused into one heavier nucleus helium so there is a small amount of mass which is been lost giving out huge amount of giving out huge amount of energy giving out huge amount of energy so this is nuclear fission and this is nuclear fusion this is nuclear fusion out of which we are able to get a huge lot amount of energy so this is the nuclear energy energy released in the nuclear reactions so when a huge heavier nucleus which has huge mass is that is uranium 235 is splitted it is broken into two parts it's spoken into two parts huge amount of energy are released similarly uh, two hydrogen isotopes are fusing to form a heavier nucleus helium to form a heavier nucleus helium the small amount of mass is lost so huge amount of energy is released in this process you can see how mass is converted into energy so mass is converted into energy this is where einstein's e is equal to mc square relation coming into picture so after equivalence of mass energy we studied this nuclear energy the reaction that takes place in sun is nothing but the nuclear fusion is nothing but the nuclear fusion a huge amount of energy is converted into light and some are converted into heat energy only small amount of this energy reaches from sun to earth which sustains the life on this planet so the reaction that takes place in sun is nothing but nuclear fusion a large amount of energy is released in the form of heat and light only a small part reaches from sun to earth and nuclear fusion it is used as energy is used in nuclear reactors in nuclear bombs etc so this is about nuclear energy is energy obtainable from the nucleus of an atom is called nuclear energy or a atomic energy when this process of nuclear fusion and fusion takes place there is a huge amount of energy released a mass is converted into energy this energy is used this energy is used in nuclear reactors in nuclear bombs etc so fusion that takes place in the sun so a small amount of energy is reaching our earth because of which life is sustainable in this planet so this is about nuclear fusion you can see here you can see here nuclear power plants where you can see energy energy is been released so this is the picture about nuclear power plants so you can see the release of energy so that's all for today's session in today's session we had discussed the various forms of energy which you have studied in your junior classes so the list of the types of energy is very vast and i have taken few forms of energy that is heat energy light energy electrical energy chemical energy sound energy and nuclear energy we discussed them one by one then we studied mass energy equivalence that is e is equal to mc square given by einstein so after the equivalence of mass and energy we studied a uh, type of energy that is nuclear energy where mass is convertible into energy where we saw how mass is converted into energy so that's all for today's session in next session i'll come up with more interesting topic on work energy and power where we'll discuss what is power and what is collision and two types of collision solve few numericals on chapter 6 until then take care have a good day thank you